All right, guys, with the MLB season soon to kick off, I wanted to take a look at all the different scoreboards around in the world of the MLB. And I just want to warn people, there's a lot of different ones compared to the NFL because I did this with the NFL and college football. And I'm going to try and get all of them starting with the bigger national televised games and then going to the regional stuff the Bally Sports situation. There's a lot of different like streaming to look at. So first, we will be looking at ESPN. Of course, they have Sunday Night Baseball. They also have, I think they have like a Tuesday night game and then the playoffs, some of the playoff games. So you guys can see ESPN's in the upper left corner. Number one, when I look at a scoreboard or a score bug, whatever you want to call it, I call it a scoreboard because that's what it is. I mean, it's a scoreboard. But somebody was telling me, oh, it's graphics, so it's a score bug. But either way, I'm just going to call it a scoreboard. Uh, when you look at them, I like them as small as possible. That sounded weird. I'm, I'm, I mean, you know, the scoreboard. And I normally like them in a corner. So, like, you get the logos, you get the color of the teams, you get the record, everything's neat, everything's tidy. It's not surprising because this is ESPN. So, I would give this ESPN scoreboard, you know, if I'm feeling generous, I'll give it a B plus. It's solid. I like it. You know, and then they have the Sunday Night Baseball and things like that. So, that is ESPN's. Next, we're going to be taking a look at Fox's. I'm sure many people have seen just amazing, really unbelievable presentation. It is so sad that they don't have regional rights to many of these teams. Of course, Bally Sports and that disgusting, what is it, Diamond Sports Company, just horrible. Uh, we'll get to theirs in a second. But Foxes, you know, with the World Baseball Classic going on, this is an A+. It's vibrant. It's bottom right corner. It's got the logos. It has character. If you guys actually watch the games live, it has little like pixels moving on in the background. You know, if you watch the game, you'll know what I mean. But it is very, very great presentation by Fox. They always seem to do a good job with the NFL and with the MLB. They have the FS1 games on Saturday afternoon. But they have a really, really nice score bug. And seeing it during the World Baseball Classic with like U Team USA and stuff, it is so cool. So theirs is really, really good. And I would say it's the best right now. So if it's the best right now, I would go with probably, if I'm grading it, probably an A or something like that. Because it's really, really nice. The next thing we're going to be looking at is, this is Peacock's, which is also, so this is where it gets kind of weird. So Peacock has the rights to a game on Sunday morning, and of course no one is watching it, it's the most ridiculous thing ever. Whether you like streaming or not, the idea that something, live sports can be streaming exclusive is so stupid, but this is also NBC's score bug as well. So they share the same one. And so NBC Sports Regional Networks, it's the White Sox, Oakland Athletics, Philadelphia Phillies, and the San Francisco Giants. And I have to say, I've always liked NBC and how they do things like with Notre Dame College Football, with their Sunday night, the way their graphics package looks. So yes, I honestly, I do like it. I'm not going to lie even though it also has the Peacock TV as well. They just kind of took their graphics over. Uh, the one thing that I would say is missing, if you, you want to nitpick it, it's like the abbreviations are missing. Not that I think that's a big deal. I actually think the abbreviations might make the scoreboard, scoreboards look a little cluttered. Like, you really don't need an abbreviation for San Diego. We know it's the Padres, and if you don't, it's just, to me, it does, it, it looks really, really nice. I like that one. I would probably go slightly lower than Fox's. I would go with an A-. minus. You know, I might actually have a tie. It might be a tie with Fox's for the best scoreboard going into 2023. NBC does a really good job, and again, they have the White Sox, the A's, Philadelphia Phillies, and San Francisco Giants rights as well. Then the other big main player is TBS, which has, they used to have a Sunday afternoon game. I believe now they have just a, a it might be Tuesday night or Wednesday night, and then they do have games in the playoffs, and I like TBS's. I don't think it's perfect, but it is small in the upper left corner. 
and I would give it a solid B plus. It's it's it, it gets the job done. It's it, almost maybe too small, right? Like, eh, no, but I do like it. I'd say I'd say a solid B plus. And then we do have the MLB Network one. So this is where things kind of get interesting. Apparently, if Bally Sports, you know, they they filed for bankruptcy, if they lose teams the MLB Network might have to broadcast the team's games. And I don't know if you guys have seen MLB Network and their World Baseball Classic scoreboard, but I mean, I I don't know what's going on with MLB Network. They've had the same scoreboard for about nine years, it feels like. You've got to modernize it a little bit. We need the logos in there, you know? So I, I, I personally, I'm just not a fan of it. It's very dark. It lacks color. It lacks any sort of vibrant you know, so hopefully, maybe if they do end up having to carry some of these teams' games, if Bally Sports ends up in the gutter, hopefully we'll see a new one introduced. But I don't have high hopes for that because it seems like they've had the same scoreboard for the past 10 years, MLB Network, that is. But theirs, I would give like a C, honestly. It's just very average to me. I, there's nothing that sticks out about it, it's mainly dark. And then you do also have Apple TV, which again, no one watches, you know, streaming live sports exclusively is just brutal. And I'll be honest, guys. So people, this is the weird thing with the MLB. Last year, people were trying to say, oh, you know, it's so sad that it's only streaming exclusive, but it's such a good presentation. Look at this scoreboard. You're going to tell me this is good? It looks like... The sixth stage of depression. It's just pitch black. Dude, that is not a good scoreboard. Come on, folks. What is the bar on these scoreboards? You're going to you're gonna call that a good scoreboard? I, I just don't like Apple TV. I don't like Peacock. And then they say in the bottom right corner, Oh my God, Paul Goldschmidt has a 20% chance to reach base. Come on. Are, are we serious? Like... That really does, like, what is what am I supposed to do with that information? Okay, yeah, technically most batters are going to have, like, a 17 to a 23% chance to reach base depending on the count and things like that. But, like, the idea that, oh, my God, now that I know Paul Goldschmidt has a 20% chance to reach base, my viewing experience is so improved now that I know that. I, I, I just, I don't understand that them adding that it's almost like a gimmick to me but that is I would say that's a D I just I don't like the all black there's nothing to it I understand they do have the 4k and they have really good picture I get it but that's just uh, my opinion on the Apple TV one they have Friday night games they have like one or two Friday night games depending every single Friday now getting to the actual regional networks we're going to be taking a look at The biggest one, Bally Sports, so they have the rights to Arizona, Atlanta, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Detroit, Kansas City, the Angels, Miami, Milwaukee, Minnesota, St. Louis, San Diego, Tampa Bay, and Texas. All those rights, I believe, probably being transferred from Fox when they had regional network games. So let's get to the actual Bally Sports debacle of a scoreboard which is just horrific. It gets an F- minus from me. It takes up the entire bottom screen, and we're going to go slide by slide here. You know what? Let's see what, what do they want us to know for this game. More than half of the scoreboard is showing us about other games. So that's great. We can see Hunter Green is pitching. That's we, we, need, we need to know that information. The next one we're taking a look at, oh my goodness, it's OPS leaders. I guess Google doesn't exist. So, oh, Bryce Harper, Manny Machado, that's very valuable information. Oh my God, we can follow Bally Sports on Twitter. I'm going to go, guys, I have to go do that right now. Hold on. Hold, this, is, this changes everything. It changes everything. Oh my God, they're showing the umpires. The umpires, wow, the crew chief, that is amazing. This is so ridiculous. Growth chart, what is that? Tickets, cardinals.com promotions. And then we've got more probable. So you can just see kind of the whole idea and how ridiculous this is. And I think the funniest part of the Bally Sports scoreboard debacle was when One of the dumb designers tried defending himself on Reddit by saying they didn't implement the right things. And he was trying to say, you guys, you you see on the right side of the scoreboard 
how it shuffles through a bunch of random crap, he was saying, oh, that part of the scoreboard was supposed to show current stats of the game. Dude, you need to completely redesign the entire scoreboard. It's not just that. You could completely eliminate that and it would still be a horrible scoreboard stuck in 2010. Those are 2010 graphics. It is a horrible job by Bailey. And the fact that one of their designers wants to come out and say, no, it was just, you know, they didn't implement it. No, it sucks, dude. The whole thing needs to be blown up. You, you, it, it's terrible. I don't know what to tell you. It's like, there's nothing redeeming about it. It need, You need to scrap it, scrap the fonts, scrap everything. It is terrible. It is bulky. It is obnoxious. It is clunky. It looks horrible. It, there is nothing good about it. This whole idea like, oh, if they just didn't know. If they, you need to destroy the thing. Take the, take the graphics file and just kill all of it. So that's the opinion of Bally Sports. Just terrible. Just awful scoreboard. And let's hope they go bankrupt. I'm sure everyone is. It's really what it is. It's Diamond Sports. But then, they, you know, the uh, Bally ended up buying the rights. They're a gambling company or something. They end up ba buying the rights to them. So that's why they're called Bally Sports. And then looking at the next regional network, it's going to be Root Sports, AT&T Sportsnet. This is for Colorado, Houston, Pittsburgh, and Seattle. And uh, yeah, theirs is really not good either, if I'm being completely honest. It's got, Root, Root Sports always has that weird kind of like tealish color to it, you know, where it looks kind of dark, but I don't know, it's like a dark space gray. Yeah, it, it, it's not a good scoreboard. I, I would give it probably a D plus or a C minus, honestly. But that is Root Sports. The next one is the Marquee Sports Network. This is a solo one for the Chicago Cubs. And it's, it's pretty much just a worse version of TBS. So I'll just say a C. It's in the upper left corner, so I like that about it. It's small. There's nothing bad about it. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty just completely average, so I would go with a C on that one. The next one, the Mid-Atlantic Sports Network for Baltimore and Washington. I know a lot of Orioles fans and Nationals fans that do not like this network, but looking at it, it is, you know, I, honest, I got to be honest, I'm really not feeling that. There's just something off about it. It looks like... Oh, I don't know if I can say that's yeah that's I can't say that but it just it, it, there's something off about it for sure. I actually really dislike it. I'd say like a C minus or a D plus. There's nothing you know. I just I can't tell you. I feel like it just looks ugly. You know. I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. Next, it's the New England Sports Network. Yeah, this one's real bad. Yeah, this has got to be an F. I mean, <laughs> oh man. No, I would say you know what. Maybe an F+. Plus. Nothing can be worse. Listen, listen. It does have a redeeming quality. It's small and it's in the upper left corner. But we're going to need some type of character. We need colors to the teams. It can't just all be blue. Like a dark blue color. And then you're not going to have logos either. I mean, that's like a third grader design that. But it cannot be worse than Bally Sports. So we're going to go with an F+. Plus. Yes, a 59% on that one. The next one is the Spectrum Sportsnet LA, which is basically the same thing as the New York Mets. So it's the Dodgers and the Mets. The Dodgers are Sportsnet LA. The Mets are Sp uh, Sportsnet New York. So, and looking at it, yeah, I don't like it either. And looking at it, you know, it's not my favorite, if I'm being completely honest. But it's bottom right, it's got the names, it's got logos, it's got colors. I'm just not a fan of the overall font and kind of the way it's formatted personally. But, you know, I, I would give it a C plus for effort. You got, you know, it, it's good effort, it is what it is, it's not terrible. If I see it, I'm not going to throw up or anything like that. And then the Yes Network for the New York Yankees. Uh, the Yankees always do a great job with their graphics and things like that. They, you know, the way it's designed... I'd say it's a solid B+. Plus. It's a really good scoreboard. Just the way it overall operates. The Yankees were one of, I think they were the first team to correctly add like a pitch clock in this spring training to their scoreboard. They're just like really on the ball with graphics and stuff. Yes, network. So I would say a B plus for them. It, it, it's, it's appealing for sure. And then the final one is the Toronto Blue Jays on Sportsnet. 
They've had some scoreboards in the past that I've really liked that are real unique. Uh, taking a look at their current one, I like it a lot. Uh, personally, in the bottom right corner, it's very vibrant. The colors, the font, I don't know. I would say it's probably like a B plus for me. It's one of the better ones. And they always seem to do a good job with their scoreboards uh, for the Blue Jays. So guys, that is the current state of all of these scoreboards within the MLB. Maybe, I mean, they got just got so many games. I think I hit on everything. I got ESPN, Fox, Apple TV, Peacock, NBC, all the regional ones. I, I believe I got everything, MLB Network. So that's just kind of where we're at now, and we'll have to see what happens with Bally Sports and whether or not they lose teams. I did hear a rumor the first three teams they will lose if they do lose teams will be the Guardians, the Reds, and the Diamondbacks. That's a rumor that I heard. It was going around on Twitter, I think, so we'll have to see if that ends up happening. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.